Afternoon everybody uh, from Lake Ginandera in Canberra decided to come out and uh, try and remove some carp at uh, one of the uh, famous spots around here um, I actually caught one already which I uh, didn't have the camera on for uh, as soon as I cast something in so hopefully there's a few more around we'll see what happens the wind it's still a pretty nice day out here let's see what we can do well I've been out for about 45 minutes I've lost one and I've got one um, unfortunately both of them not on camera as they were in the first two casts and I barely got time to set up me um, my camera a bit windy out here today but still uh, pretty nice clear skies um, Here's this fellow here. Oh, he must be 53, 52, 53. Nice heavy one with the uh, orange orange fins at the back, or red fins at the back there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, nice looking fish, but still a carp. So the first one, I was back at my car behind me and uh, nearly lost lost my rod and uh, holder as I was still setting up. Um, Hopefully, something else comes along soon. Like I say, I've been here about 40, 45 minutes so far. Just on the corn. I'm just going to change over my corn here. Couple of bits on. Don't crowd the hook. That's the key. I'll never go more than two bits, really. That'll do us there. Can't. Can't lose any bits of corn. Two or three bits of corn, no more. And don't crowd the hook, leave that hook nicely exposed. Now, this particular spot, don't want to cast too far, I just want to be about 10-15 metres in front of us there. Plop, just there. Same with this one, just a little bit to the right here. Let's see what happens. Plop, just there. Leaving my line nice and loose so it gives them a bit of room to run. Hook them up nicely and uh, gives me hopefully a bit of time to get over from the car where I'm sitting waiting to waiting to uh, catch a fish and hopefully spy a bite. So let's see what happens.
Not bad at all. Here we go. Yep, definitely a mirror carp. Pretty similar size. Probably around that 55, 50 to 55 mark.